This video will show you guys the latest method for setting up an SD to Vita on your PlayStation Vita. This currently works on the latest version of the PS Vita, so this works on 3.72. If you're wondering about SD card sizes, you can pretty much use any SD card size you want, even 400 gigabyte would work. Um, also you must have custom firmware. As you can see with my PS Vita right here, I have got 3.68 um, Henkaku custom firmware and it's actually um, launched using Hencore 2. So if you guys would like a video for that, there is a video on how to hack your PS Vita on my channel and it works on every firmware version, including the latest version. So that is it basically for the PS Vita. You basically just need a PS Vita with custom firmware. Um, this will work on both PS Vitas. This is the old one, but it will also work on the slim one as well. Now, this is the SD to Vita that I have got. This is a pretty good one. It's pretty good quality. I've had this maybe a year now, and I've been using it, and um, it's actually very good. I haven't needed to replace it. It hasn't like broken or anything like that. The SD card I will use in this video is just a Toshiba 32 gigabyte one. Um, it shouldn't be perfect for installing games and everything like that. You will also need some kind of USB adapter so you can connect your SD card to your computer. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get our SD card, we're going to get our adapter and what we're going to do is we're going to connect it and we are going to go and plug this into my computer. Now I would recommend using Windows for this video, so if you're on Mac you can always go ahead and emulate Windows on your computer, but basically what you want to do is make sure your SD card is plugged in and the first thing we want to do is format it. So if you have any files on your SD card, make sure to go and back these up now. When you format something it will completely wipe it, but what we're going to do just on the file explorer, we're going to select our SD card, we're going to right click it, we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on format. What we need to do from here is just make sure the capacity is the same. For file system what we have to do is select XFAT. For the allocation size we have to select default allocation size and where it says volume label what you can do is just type in Vita just like this and now we're just going to click on start and then click on OK. Make sure quick format is ticked as well. Just wait it's going to say format complete, click on OK, click on close and now our SD card is formatted and as you can see it's now completely blank. Now you guys will need to head over to the links in the description of this video because we have to grab a few files. The first file we have to get is called ZZ blank image. This is an image we need to burn onto our SD card. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on the blue download button and we're just going to go ahead and download this image. Next you want to go to the next link. This is the Windows 32 disk imager. This is the software tool we will use for writing our image onto our SD card. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on the green download button and we're going to wait for five seconds and then this is going to download. Um, this is a tool only for Windows which is why I said you don't really want to use Mac in this video. So just wait for that to download and once it's done we will be able to install that in a second. But there is one more thing that we need to get and this is Auto Plugin. Auto Plugin is probably one of the best PS Vita programs. It lets you install plugins um, for Adrenaline and the PS Vita itself. We need to get Auto Plugin so we can set up our SD card. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on autoplugin.vpk and we're also going to download a copy of this. Now once we've got these three files what you guys want to do is just head over and find them in your downloads folder. So what we're going to do first is we're going to install the Windows 32 disk imager. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this and now you guys just want to go through with the setup. So you can accept the agreement, um, you can create a desktop shortcut if you want to, you can just go ahead and install. As I said I've already got it so I'm just going to overwrite this quick and you can leave launch ticked and now you just want to click on finish and it's actually going to open up like this. So once we're in the Windows 32 disk imager what you guys want to do is just click on this blue file logo and this is just going to open out to your computer but what you want to do is you want to browse for your downloads folder and we want to find the ZZ blank image. So here is mine, I've just located this in my downloads, we're just going to click on this and we're simply going to click on open. Now what you want to do is select your Vita's SD card, make sure it's the SD to Vita SD card. If you format something else, if you try and write this image to it, it's probably just going to screw it up. So make sure you select the correct, the correct device, so mine is F, as you can see it's F right here. And what we need to do is actually just click on write. So once you click on write and click on yes, it's going to write this image onto our SD card. Okay guys, so the next step is to completely unplug your SD card from your computer, so actually like take it out. 
And then you just want to go ahead and plug it back in. And it's going to come up with a load of this like rubbish. And what you want to do, you don't want to click format disk. You can actually just click cancel and all of this stuff. Click cancel again. And now what you want to do is go onto this PC. And as you can see, you can find your SD card right here. So what we do on this part is we select our SD card. We right click it. We go down and we click on format. Now we're going to do the same settings as last time. Capacity, leave it the same. We're going to choose XFAT, default allocation size. You can call it Vita if you want to. Click on start click on ok and now click on ok again click on close and now it's formatted to the correct image and it's basically perfect for setting up the sd to vita okay guys so make sure your sd card is still plugged into your computer but what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our ps vita so what we need to do we need to go ahead and we actually need to start up vita shell you'll also need the usb cable for your ps vita now you can do this via the ftp connection but i really really wouldn't recommend it it's so much easier just to plug it in so what you guys want to do get your cable ready you want to go to the home screen of um, vita shell you want to press select make sure you've got it selected on usb cable if you don't know how to do that you press start and you can actually change it right here you can change it to usb or ftp make sure usb is selected we're going to press select we're going to go and plug this in right now and i will show you what to do on my computer okay guys so we have now got my ps vita plugged in as you can see usb drive this is my ps vita connected via usb connection and then vita this is of course my sd card which we are about to set up so what you guys want to do make sure in your downloads folder and you want to find that, that vpk file we downloaded auto plugin vpk what we need to do we need to get this and we need to drag this onto our ps vita make sure not the sd to vita the actual ps vita so just go ahead and drag it onto there and here you go it should actually be like this just on the route now on my ps vita my memory card was actually 8 gigabyte and we are going to be upgrading this to a 28 gigabyte one normally it's 32 but you guys know how these work they're always slightly lower so what you want to do is you want to double click onto your ps vita you want to click on view at the top if you're on windows and you want to click on hidden items what this is going to do is show every hidden folder and this is good because we want to select everything including the hidden files now you want to drag down and you want to select every single thing on your ps vita just like this and you want to right click and you want to go to copy we're then going to copy this onto the root of our SD card so now we're going to go onto this right click and we're going to do paste now this is pretty much just a wait you just have to wait um, I don't know how long really obviously it depends on how many files you have got for some people this might take 10 minutes for some people this could take half an hour so yeah, we're just going to wait it's going to copy across every file for me it says about 24 minutes so let's see how many files did I have so I've got about, um, um, what's that, 1.33.3. If you right click and go on properties, you can actually find out exactly. There you go, 6.11 gigabytes. So that's how long it's going to take for me to copy across. And yeah, we're simply going to wait 24 minutes. I will be back once this is done. Now, if you guys get a message like this that says the destination has two files with the same name, what you guys want to do is just click replace the files in the destination. That is completely fine. And then there you go. We have got two SD cards, well, one memory card, one SD card, and they've got exactly the same files on. So what we want to do now is go back onto our PS Vita and I will show you guys what we have to do. So I'm back from my computer and we should have our PS Vita contents now on our SD card. So what we can do is we can take out our SD card from the adapter and we can actually plug it into our SD to Vita. And what we want to do now is put our SD to Vita into the game slot. People might not realize it actually goes in the game slot. It's not actually for memory cards. So you just want to go ahead and put it in where you put games. Now if you do play games, um, you can back up the games and actually just play them on your PS Vita rather than having to plug in your games each time or what you can do is you can swap it over back to the memory card for me I don't actually own any PS Vita games I think I have about one or two um, so this is perfect so now what you want to do is you want to actually install auto plugin so what we're going to do um, on Vita Shell we want to go onto the UXO and press on X we want to scroll all the way down and we want to find auto plugin on here what we're going to do we're going to press X we're going to press X again and we're just going to go ahead and install this if you don't don't have auto plugin it's very good it's definitely worth getting I'm pretty sure most of you if you have custom firmware the chances are you do have auto plugin because it's very very popular but we are just going to wait for this to install and once it's done we can go ahead and open it up 
Okay, so once it is done, let's go and close out of VeedShell. We don't need that anymore, and we need to go and find auto plugins. So let's go and start this up. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to set up the SD to Vita. If your auto plugin is on the previous version, you can also go ahead and update it via Wi-Fi. But we need to go onto um, plugins for Vita and press X. We need to scroll down, and we need to press X on install plugin for SD to Vita. So we're going to press X on this. Now it's going to say, to install a storage manager plugin, to your SD to Vita must be ready. Um, if a game card is inserted, it must be removed before rebooting. Very important, your SD to Vita must have some apps ready in it. You can copy slash paste them from your official memory card. Only copy really needed apps to your SD. We copied everything um, just in case. But it says, for example, Hencore Vita Shell, you guys get the idea, we copied everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to press X to proceed with the installation. It's then going to say the storage manager has been installed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to configure stuff. Now, I like mine as the default. The official memory card is going to be the UMA0 official memory card MCD. The INT internal memory card, we do not have this. But if you have um, the new PS Vita, so the PS Vita 2K, or if you have a PS TV, um, you can actually mount this as something, but I can't do that for this video. Um, this one right here is going to be mounted as the UXO, that is our um, SD to Vita which is perfect and then our um, UMA is basically just USB, you can leave that as it is and what you want to do is you actually want to press the triangle button to save now we're going to press X for OK and our PS Vita is actually going to restart, so there you go your PS Vita will restart, press X for OK and it's actually going to restart itself and once it's finished restarting we can actually see if we manage to get this working Okay guys, so now at the moment of truth, if you guys aren't sure how to tell if it's working or not, what you want to do is actually go ahead and start up Vita Shell. If you guys remember before, our UXO was previously 7GB something, oh of course, of course don't forget to run Hencore, previously it was 7GB something, um, but now it should be 28GB if I remember correctly. And Hencore crashed, Hencore 2 does this sometimes, um, I'm just going to try this again. Okay, it's working now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and exit. Um, if you have any problems with Hencore 2, of course, you just got to try again. It does actually crash, but um, I guess that's just how it works. So it says exiting. Um, it's a bit slow. There you go. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to load up Vita Shell. And we're going to see, did it actually work? And if you scroll down and we're looking for UXO, as you guys can see, it worked. We have now got 28 gigabyte file storage. And the previous 6.4, if you guys want to delete anything you don't want anymore, you can go ahead and do that. And then there you go. That is the easiest way for setting up your SD to Vita. I thought that was pretty easy. It's pretty like, you know... Um, user friendly like everyone can use this and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe if you guys need to buy an SD to Vita or you need to buy SD cards I will link the ones that I used in the description um, a common problem is people will buy an SD to Vita or they'll buy an SD card and they will buy it off eBay as much as I love eBay there's so many fake SD cards on there so if it sounds too good to be true maybe like I don't know like 128 gigabyte for like 5 quid it's probably fake so just get them off Amazon. Um, Amazon is definitely reliable and even if an SD card is fake off Amazon they will just refund you straight away. So there you go. If you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like, leave a subscribe. These always take time to make. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.